Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to create a very simple minimap. Let's begin. Alright, so here's my scene. I have a player character with a sword. There are some buildings and some enemies. I can attack the enemies and kill them. Okay. We want to display the player, the enemies, and the building in a minimap in the corner. Now there are multiple ways to create a minimap, but the absolute easiest one is simply making a camera. So let's check out the main camera. As you can see, the camera is just a basic to the camera. And in here we have a calling mask field. This contains all the layers that this camera will render, which means anything not selected will not be rendered. This is what we need to make our minimap. So let's first go into our player and inside let's create a new empty game object let's name it minimap icon and give it a sprite render and drag a circle onto it okay let's scale it up a bit and tint it in green okay so this is the green circle that will be displayed on our minimap which references the player position and if we run the game you can see that the green circle is on top of the player in the main camera, which is not what we want. We want to display this on a separate camera. Okay, so let's go back into the editor. On our minimap icon, in here we're going to select a new layer. So click on layer and add a layer. In here, let's name our layer minimap. And back in our minimap icon, set it to the layer minimap. Okay, so now let's go back into the main camera and on the culling mask, which again, this is the layers that are rendered by this camera. So in here, make sure that minimap is deselected. That means that any object that has the minimap layer will not be rendered by this camera. Okay, so let's run the game just for testing and our green dot should no longer appear. Yep, there you go. This is our main camera and the game object on the minimap icon no longer appears. Okay, so now let's make our minimap camera. So let's go into the main camera and duplicate it. Let's call this minimap camera. First, let's remove the main camera tag. So just set this to untagged. And now for the culling mask, this one will simply display the minimap. So select nothing and then only the minimap. As you can see on the preview, we can see our minimap icon. Let's make it a child of the main camera so they always have the same position. And for depth, let's put it on zero, which is above the main camera. So let's test and see what happens. You can see the player position displayed on our minimap camera and it's moving around as I move. Okay, great. So we now have two cameras displaying two specific scenes. Now, obviously we don't want the minimap to hide our main camera. We want it to be displayed in the corner of the screen. So for that, we're going to use a render texture. So let's go into our project files and in here, let's right click and create a new render texture down here, okay? Let's call it minimap render texture. In here, let's give it a size of 512 by 512, so the minimap isn't very pixelated. And let's drag it onto our minimap camera. So this is the camera, in here you have a target texture that we can select a render texture and let's drag it into there, okay. So now let's run the scene and we should be seeing the same as previously. Yep, exactly, and if we pause and check out the render texture, Yep, there you go. It is displaying what the minimap camera is seeing. Okay, great. Now we want to display this very texture on our UI. So let's go to our UI canvas. I have it set up in here. And let's make an empty game object. Let's call it minimap render texture. And here we're going to add a raw image component. We must use the raw image instead of the image component because the image component takes a sprite and what we have here is a texture. So using the raw image, we can simply drag our texture onto it. Let's see where that image is being displayed and here's our UI. Okay, let's move it to the side and make it a bit bigger. So 200 by 200. And as you can see, it is transparent, which is probably not what we want. So let's go into our minimap camera and set the background solid color to a dark gray full alpha. Okay, there you go, there's the square. So let's test. And yep, there you go, here's my player and in there we have a minimap view. The player is moving and as you can see it moves exactly the same. Okay, great. Now before we add icons to the other elements, let's make this look a bit better. 
Since this is a UI image, we can easily apply a mask and make it look quite a bit better. So in here, let's first make a container game object for our minimap window. And let's drag our render texture onto it. Now let's add another UI image. This will be for our mask. So add the mask component and let's add a circle mask and hide the mask graphic. Okay, now our minimap is circular and let's add a border on top of it. Okay, so here we have a circular minimap with a nice border on top of it. So let's run the code and see how it looks. Yep, there's our minimap, it works, and now it is circular and has a nice looking border. Okay, great. Now let's finally add some icons to our other elements. So for the building, I have the buildings placed as a prefab. So in here, I can simply add another sprite to the object, a sprite. Let's call it minimap icon. Again, give it the layer of minimap. And for the buildings, let's put a a blue square okay check out the icon and make it quite a bit bigger okay so now all the buildings have a square for their minimap icon and for the enemy icon again i have the enemy prefab in here so let's add another sprite for our minimap icon again place the layer on minimap and for the sprite, again, we don't need to use basic shapes. We can use any sprite. So let's use the enemy icon sprite. And just for fun, for the flying dead body, let's also add an icon. All right, so let's run the game and see if all of our icons are correctly displayed. Okay, there's the player. And if I go there, yep, there's an enemy right next to me and a building in there. And now if I hit the enemy, the icon should change. Yep, there you go. It shows the other icon. Now what you might notice that is not very correct is simply the size of our minimap. Usually the minimap shows more than what you see in the main camera, so we need to deal with that. And for that, let us simply go into our minimap camera and simply set the orthographic size to be larger. So let's say instead of 70, which is what is on the main camera, let's put it on 200. Okay, there you go. We can now see a much bigger area using our minimap. But as you can see, the icons are now very tiny. Essentially, they have to be scaled relative to the zoom on our minimap camera. All right, I have resized the icons. And now, as you can see, the minimap is much more visible. Now we can see all the icons and we can view a larger area. So there you have it. We created a very simple minimap that displays all the icons that we want to show. In the next video, we're going to create a few scripts to make the whole minimap system very easy to use. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.